Those three rules for me consistently seem to really, really help me. I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Welcome to my Diary of an Artist. I'm going to share my three rules for working at home with a baby while also sharing a day working as an artist. I have a five month old baby that I take care of during the day while also working from home. And I'm super lucky that I have my art studio in my home. So I'm a stay at home parent and also work from home. I'm still very new to this. I've been back off of my maternity leave for two months now, but I've discovered three rules that I follow that is really helping me keep the balance of taking care of a baby and also working from home. Number one, I always make sure I have one non-negotiable goal that I'm going to get done that day. It's just one thing, it's manageable, so I know I can get it done that day and I get it done no matter what. It's non-negotiable, that thing is getting done. So if I've been working on a painting and I decide that my non-negotiable goal is that I'm going to rework the background to the painting, I'm gonna make sure that I get that whole background reworked on that painting and it's gonna get done that day no matter what. This has been helping me to make sure that I'm really efficient with the way that I work and make sure that I'm not wasting time in the art making process. And today my non-negotiable goal is getting an ink drawing done. So the ink drawing is inspired off of this photo reference. This is of my friend's kid. It's his first birthday and he's eating cake and he's got the cake all over himself and he's crying with a little crown. And when I first saw this photo, I immediately saw this painting in my head. Like, do you ever get that where it's you're looking at something and then this image just flashes in your head, like you tweak the thing you're looking at into this like really cool image. It's gonna be not this photo reference, but inspired from it. And my idea is to have this little prince that's crying. So I don't think I'm gonna, I don't, I don't wanna have any cake or like the blue icing all over him. And I'm probably gonna change the background in the space that he's in. I'm not exactly sure, but I know I wanna play around with this image. So I'm gonna do an ink drawing of it and that'll help me decide if I wanna spend the time to make an actual painting out of it. So that non-negotiable goal is to get this ink drawing completed. This is gonna be a really big step for me in the preliminary process of this painting to let me know if I actually wanna do this painting or not. So this is a really important step and I'm making sure that I'm getting this done today. That's gonna to be a lot of progress. I'm using Micron pens. I like to start off with the 005 pens and then later on I might do the 01. The 05 tips are nice because they're the thinnest that you can get so you can get those really nice thin lines. And I also like to use the brown pens instead of the black ones. You'll see when I'm working on this drawing but the brown is so dark it almost looks black but it's a lot softer i feel than the black so that's why i really prefer them and the paper that i use is stonehenge i love stonehenge paper it's smooth but still has enough tooth to it and i like to do the ink drawings on it because you get this cool texture as well like it kind of breaks up the lines in a cool way and i also like to do pencil drawings on it. it's really great for pencil too It is now the end of the day and I finished the drawing. So I got that non-negotiable goal down. I'm gonna put this away and come and look at it tomorrow morning and make my final judgments then. And so that brings me to rule number two, which is making sure that I have a dedicated uninterrupted time to work. 
which definitely working at home with a baby is difficult to find. And so the only uninterrupted time that I get is when he goes to bed and then I stay up late to work. So if I can and I'm able to, and I want to work during the time when he's awake, I can do some stuff then and also when he's napping, but I feel like my brain is half on the work that I'm doing and the other half is on him, which it should be. So either I'm working slower on my stuff or just some stuff I can't do because I need to like put 100% of my focus in my work. And so during those uninterrupted hours, that's when I'm really making sure that I get that non-negotiable goal done. And sometimes that means staying up really late to get it all done. Or other times it's just finding out with my workflow how I can be really efficient with that time so I can get that non-negotiable goal down. And so I got that drawing done for the day, which feels really good to get that non-negotiable goal done. I feel like that sets me up for just to keep the momentum of having progress. So I'm gonna look at that drawing tomorrow, see what I think of it, see if I really wanna move on and do a painting of that image. So now I am gonna go to bed and get some sleep. That sounds really good right now. Day. I've got my drawing that I'm gonna look at with fresh eyes now. If I've got time, kind of like to make a little ceremony out of reviewing my work that I did the previous day. So I'll make a snack for myself, some sort of beverage. Let's see what I think. Here is the finished drawing. Which I, I like, I think I'm gonna paint this. I'm really glad that I did this sketch cause it definitely helps me see it in a new way from the photo reference. And I, Jude. <laughs> and I can better uh, get an idea for what I want to do and the elements that I want to change to really make it my own image and not just be co copying a photo, but actually using the photo as a reference. So in this light, you can definitely see the texture of the paper better, like what I was talking about before. So it's very smooth, but you can still see there's bumps in it. So when you're putting down lines on the Stonehenge paper, the ink kind of has a more scratchy appearance, I guess, rather than it just being a very clear mark. You can see where it like, like right here, where it'll just bump over a bump and there'll just be white spots of the paper showing through, which I actually really, really like. I really prefer that. I think it looks really interesting. And so I start with those 005 pens, micron pens, and I will use those pretty much for the whole drawing. If I'm wanting to get into darker areas, cover a lot of stuff like in the hair, I then go to the O1 tip because it's a little bit thicker. And then also in his shoulder right here, I use that O1 tip to get a nice bold line for that shoulder so it's not too thin. So doing an ink drawing like this definitely helps me decide if I want to do a painting or not. And so now seeing this done, it's a really clear decision that I do want to make the painting off of it. So definitely when I'm unsure if I want to paint an image or not, if I make an ink drawing of it, it's really clear yes or no if I want to do it. And I think this will make a really cool painting. So once I finish these projects that I'm working on right now, I've got this in my back pocket that I can start working on. Which brings me to rule number three for working at home while also taking care of a baby at the same time. And that is to take care of yourself. That sounds kind of cheesy, but it's so, so true. If I'm not taking care of myself, then it's really hard for me to take care of Jude and it's really hard for me to work on my own stuff. I feel like the more things that I'm trying to balance, the more that I really have to take into account with how I'm feeling and not bottle 
that up because then I'll feel it at the end of the day and then I won't be able to or want to or enjoy working on my own stuff. Where I'm at <laughs> with balancing everything, I feel like the things that I will forget to do is eat enough, drink enough water, and then sleep enough. So those three things are like, if I'm feeling bad, I think if I've done those things. And I know I'm, I talk about my non-negotiable goal and making sure that I've got my work time at the end of the day. But if I'm feeling really bad, that I take care of myself first. So then when he goes to bed, that's either me taking an hour or two to take care of myself and recharge or not working that night and taking care of myself. So then I can, the next day I'm in a better place so I can be taking care of Jude and working on my own stuff. Because if I'm miserable, it just doesn't feel worth it to work on my artwork. And I don't think I make good artwork anyway. So for the other rules, non-negotiable goal, making sure I've got time to work. Always in the back of my head throughout the day, I'm making sure that I'm feeling okay and taking care of myself. That's so, so important, I found out. So far, being a parent and working from home is new to me. I know a lot of people are doing that right now. So if you have any tips or like, please share in the comments. I'd love to find out what other people are doing to balance the two. <laughs> Cause it's challenging and it seems like it's always ever, always ever changing. So I'm really trying to stay flexible, but those three rules for me consistently seem to really, really help me. <laughs> okay. So that's it for this video. So now we are going to play now. You ready? Bad 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 Bad